What's going on everybody, Noble here with you guys today. In today's video, we're actually gonna show you guys how to fix the black screen issue that you have with OBS whenever you're trying to use display capture. Now, I do wanna let you guys know before we start off this video that I am actually using XSplit and I'm using a free version of it. I wanna give you guys the best quality, which is 1080p in this case. And in order to do that without having to buy a license, I am using the free version. That's why you guys see um, XSplit on the bottom right of this video. Now, I do also wanna say that I love all these programs. I actually do use XSplit and I'm planning on buying a license for it, but I also use OBS a whole lot. This video is about OBS, not XSplit. Uh, we'll have videos for everything. So just letting you guys know that so you guys know what's going on, using a lot of applications to go ahead and make this video work. So guys, sometimes you're trying to use OBS and you wanna go ahead and open it up and capture your display so you can make a tutorial or show what you're doing on screen and you have this black screen here that can be a real pain in the ass it makes it harder for you to obviously show what you're doing and it's just a pain in the butt if you don't know how to fix it now i've got a very simple fix for you guys uh, this is the easiest way that i've been able to find how to do it and we're just going to walk you guys through that so the first thing that you have to do is just click on any area that's open on your desktop go ahead and right click and open up your display settings after that, you're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and jump into graphic settings. And that's gonna bring this up. Now you wanna keep this on classic app. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. And then what you wanna go ahead and do is find your OPS application. So we're gonna go ahead and click on browse. And I've already found mine here, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through this. So you wanna go to your C drive, which is usually my computer or whatever it is that it's called. And you're gonna go ahead and head on into program files. Once you're in program files, look for OBS Studio and then jump into the bin. Once you're in the bin, in my case, I'm running a 64 bit. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and then look for OBS. So we got OBS 64 here. This is the actual application. We're going to go ahead and open that. That's going to add this to this area here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on options. And the weird thing about this and the reason that it doesn't work sometimes, the reason that you actually get a black screen is because your computer for some reason or another is trying to pull the actual screen from the NVIDIA GeForce instead of the Intel processor. I don't know why that is, um, but this is the way that you can go ahead and fix it. So you guys have a very simple graph right here. It says power saving GPU is for Intel and then high performance GPU is NVIDIA. So again, it's trying to pull from NVIDIA. You shouldn't really be doing that. You should be using the Intel processor to capture your actual screen. So we're gonna go ahead and use power saving, which will give us Intel UHD graphics, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna go ahead and switch this over to power saving and then press save. That's pretty much it. You're gonna leave this exactly the way that it is. Just go ahead and close everything else down here. And we're also going to close OBS. Now, the next time that you open OBS, everything should be working just the way it is. You guys can see everything is working. We've got OBS here. Uh, again, I'm using XSplit to make this video possible. So XSplit, you are awesome as well. Uh, we're also using uh, Audacity to go ahead and record our voice. So you guys can see everything is showing up on our screen here. And uh, that's the way that you go ahead and fix your black screen errors whenever you're trying to capture your display capture in OPS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope it wasn't too confusing, the fact that we're making an OBS video, even though there's an X split watermark on the bottom right. Um, I hope you guys just, I hope it worked for you guys. So if it did, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this or any of our other tutorials or videos, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next video.